It's still unclear if Singapore's rowers will get a chance to reprise their gold medal Sea Games performance, as their sport is not on the initial list of events for the 2015 Games here. A decision on the final program is expected by April next year, but the sport still faces some rough waters ahead. Singapore's first rowing singles gold medalist received a nasty surprise when she returned from her victorious outing in Myanmar. Shaida Aisha was greeted by these caterpillar-like creatures at the Singapore Rowing Association's headquarters at Pandan Reservoir. Turning its current home into a facility that can host the Sea Games will be one of the association's challenges if rowing is included in the 2015 edition. And it may have to look for a new home after its lease expires in 2016. We need the place uh, more open uh, to public and more access to the rowing venue, especially in the Marina Bay. It's a good venue to, for our sports awareness and program. It's understood that the Marina Bay venue may not be long enough to host the two-kilometre race in which Aisha clinched gold in at this year's Sea Games. Most of our counterparts in South Asia have agreed if we don't have 2,000 metres, we can do it at 1,000 metres. That shouldn't be an issue that we should not be included into the Sea Games. But it remains to be seen if local rowers, including Aisha, can excel at the shorter events. The association says funding continues to be an issue and it requires more money to develop athletes and replace aging equipment. This gym is where the association's rowers conduct their land training. And some of the equipment here, such as this machine which simulates rowing, is more than 20 years old. Hopefully more companies uh, or individuals who uh, believe in like um, supporting individuals who want to achieve their dreams will come forward and support us, uh, whether in terms of, you know, like bringing people into the sport, not only in terms of monetary. Aisha credits much of her win in Myanmar to top-class coaching. That's another area that the association hopes to focus on as it aims to field rowers in up to 12 events that could feature in the program in 2015.